Trinity Valley School Story, a milestone in education, featuring the Texas Boys Choir. This is the Texas Boys Choir of Fort Worth, which has thrilled audiences and critics not only in Texas and the United States, but in Europe as well. These 26 youngsters, ranging in age from 8 to 14, are gifted with a love of music. But voices must be trained, and these boys have undergone rigorous training and many hours of practice, which shows in the highly polished, versatile performances of the boys' choir, which makes national tours under the Herbert Barrett management of New York. Through the efforts of some nearby Fort Worth citizens, the choir moved its headquarters to Fort Worth in 1957. In that same year, George Bragg, founder and director of the choir, was joined by Hungarian-born Istvan Selenye as associate director. These conquests followed. The Pat Boone Show, 1957. The Dave Garraway Show, 1958. And a six-week tour of Europe, 1959. The choir has recorded several albums for Decca Records and has been asked to do another European tour in 1965. It became evident to the directors that the choir boys needed an enriched scholastic program to round out the educational opportunities of concert tours. So, in 1959, again the organization founded a boys' choir school. As the old adage has it, necessity is the mother of invention. And this is the case with the choir and the Trinity Valley School. The classes were first held in what most educators would call unprofessional surroundings. As a matter of fact, the school's first six students attended classes in an old kitchen at St. Ignatius Academy. By early 1962, the board of the Boys' Choir School realized they had in their possession an institution that could help not only boys who were musically talented, but youngsters who were gifted in other fields. So, in the fall of 1962, the school moved from its old quarters and took on a new name. Called the Trinity Valley School, it's now ensconced at 1400 Hemp Hill. The 1962 school year began with 120 students in grades 3 through 8. There were four full-time teachers and 15 part-time instructors on the staff. This is the 8th grade English class. The instructor is Mr. Kent Henning. At this moment, he is discussing Shakespeare's Twelfth Night with his 13-year-old students. A good example of this can be found in the math class, presided over by Richard Balcol, Jr. The students and members of the faculty alike regard him as something akin to a walking computer. Now, this scene may bring some unpleasant memories. How many normally strong and sturdy lads got just a little green around the gills when it came time to dissect the frog? But even here, the emphasis is different. The instructor is Mrs. Jan Davis, a returning member of the faculty. Mrs. Davis was a research associate of the Atomic Energy Commission. The boys at Trinity Valley learn more than just how to handle scientific symbols. Their language skills are started early and can be as diversified as their personal desire. This is a ninth grade Russian class. Before these boys could tackle the language of the Kremlin, they were required to take two years of Latin. I'd like to begin by asking you, Mr. Selenyi, uh, just why it is you teach foreign languages here. The reasons are twofold. One, we can explain by taking a quotation from Milton, the author of Paradise Lost. He said, no one may know his own language unless he mastered a foreign language. The other reason is basically self-explanatory. In this complex world of ours, an educated person must speak at least one foreign language, and I mean speak it. The same type of appreciation course is included in the study of drama taught by Dr. Cecilia Thompson. In addition, literature students are required to memorize, study, and analyze classics, both those here and abroad. The students will produce and perform in their version of Shakespeare's Twelfth Night. Now, in case we have created the mistaken impression that Trinity Valley tries to produce the stereotype bookworm who can't fight his way out of a wet paper bag, let's take a look at the physical education courses required of students. Children in all grades are required to take part in a very active phys ed program. Third graders at Trinity Valley were busy with calisthenics, basketball, volleyball, 
handball, track and field, swimming, and as if that was not enough, also fencing. As the students move up to the higher grades, other sports are introduced, such as golf and judo. Heading up this vigorous program is Mr. Lewis Gillespie, a graduate of TCU. Future plans call for Trinity Valley to have one grade added each year until the school will have all 12 grades by September 1966. The staff and board are determined to keep the tuition as low as possible so that the school is within the economic reach of the largest number of families. The objective is to do all that is possible to challenge the gifted child, to develop his potential to the fullest. The school hopes to develop Trinity Valley into a co-institution. Just when this co-institutional plan with an ultimate enrollment of 560 can be realized is not certain, and the board and staff of the Trinity Valley School feel that they have found the best possible answer for educational opportunities through private schooling, and this fruition of that dream will add immeasurably to the educational and cultural development of Texas and the Southwest.